Hi everyone and welcome back to my desk. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way how you can add Bluetooth support to your project and control anything from within your phone, whatever you decide to make. And the start of today's project is this module that uh, Rayx was kind enough to send me. It's the RYB 2340 Bluetooth module that they have in this what they call light variant where the actual module is on a support PCB with some breakout, so we can use it on a breadboard. But if you want to embed this into your design, then you can just purchase it as this tiny module here on top. There's nothing on the back and it only has two capacitors as support components. So the entire module can provide all the functionality on its own without any support circuitry. And if you ever decide to integrate this module onto your own PCBs, then you're gonna need the help of today's sponsor, which is Altium Designer and Altium 365. If you're designing electronics, you know how messy the process can get. Scattered feedback, outdated files, supply chain surprises, and endless back and forth between teams. That's where Altium 365 comes in. It's the ultimate cloud platform for hardware development built to keep your project fast, organized and manufacturing ready. With Altium 365, your entire team stays in sync. Real-time collaboration means no more digging through emails for feedback. Comments and markups live right in your design files. Automated bomb management pulls live pricing, availability and risk alerts so you avoid last-minute part shortages. And with seamless ECAT MCAT integration, mechanical and electrical teams work together without errors or rework. Everything is secure in the cloud with version control so you never lose track of changes. Whether you are a solo designer or part of a global team, Altium 365 streamlines the journey from concept to production. Stop wrestling with disconnected tools and start building better electronics faster. Check out Altium 365 today from the link in the video description and get 25% discount on your subscription. If we look at the module specs on Rayx website, we can see that this is 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth low energy module with integrated antenna. And this is for the evaluation board, as I mentioned before. It works with Bluetooth 5.3 and it supports Bluetooth Low Energy. It works with the Low Power Texas Instrument CC 2340R5 chip. It has some metal cover to protect it against EMI interference. It features a GET profile and it can also support master and slave role. Based on what Rayx is saying, this is specifically designed for smartphone peripheral applications. And if we go to the specification, we can see that the module works at 3.3 volt with a maximum current of 11 milliamps while transmitting. And in terms of dimensions, it's only 16.7 by 13 by 2.2 millimeters, which is really, really small. So it can be easily integrated into many applications. Additional to the description and the commands that they provide for the module, Rayx also provides some source codes that I'm going to show you later that I used to create the demo that you saw at the beginning. So you can download everything from within Rayx website. I'm going to have all the links down in the video description. Now, if we take a look at the example circuit that I have for my project, I'm using an ESP8266 microcontroller in the form of a node MCU that does not have Bluetooth on board. It does have Wi-Fi, but in this application, I just wanted to highlight that you can add Bluetooth to whatever microcontroller that you're using. Then I have the RYB2340 module here that is connecting to 3.3 volt and ground and connects to pins D5 and D6 on the RX and TX lines on the module so I can have then a serial communication uh, within the Arduino sketch. Then here on the far right, I have a five volt relay that I'm gonna control through pin D1. And that goes to a 2N222 uh, transistor that I'm just using as a switch so I can turn on the five volts signal for the relay using the 3.3 volt logic from the microcontroller. So the relay is powered from the VIN that I'm transferring here through a 10K resistor. It's being the signal pin of the relay is being pulled high. Whenever we activate the transistor by sending high to the base, again, through a 10K uh, resistor that switches the transistor, which actively connects the 
signal input of the relay to ground and this is what triggers it and with that the whole circuit is relatively simple and easy to understand now the entire demo runs on a sketch that i'm gonna show you a bit later but i first want to show you how it all works the Rayx BLE Connect application that you can download from the links down below allows us to start scanning for devices and we can see that we have the RYB2340. I'm gonna have a screen recording here from the, my phone. When I click on it, then it initiates a connection and if a successful connection is made, then the next screen will appear the original application that is here just list all of the characteristics and you can interact with i changed that where i added two buttons that are actually writing directly to that characteristics inside the log here if we go uh, we can see that we have enabled notifications on the one of the characteristics and inside the Arduino code, whenever I'm connecting, I'm actually sending this subscribe string from the module to the phone, and we can also talk the other way around. So whenever I press on on, the text relay on will be sent. And if you saw there, the relay turned on, and if I press on relay off, the relay turns off. Effectively, what this creates is it creates a serial communication between the microcontroller and the phone through the Bluetooth adapter, which makes the whole thing relatively simple to implement on the Arduino side. There are definitely ways how you can do this without an external module if you have a microcontroller that supports Bluetooth, like the ESP32, for example, but that is not always the best way or the best approach that you can make it because even if you implement Bluetooth directly on the ESP32, then you might face the issue with the microcontroller being too overwhelmed with everything that it does. So having a separate module that then talks through UART with the main microcontroller might be easier if you have a complicated project that needs to keep track of a lot of sensors and a lot of things and also control a lot of inputs and outputs. Controlling and communicating via Bluetooth over serial will always be easier on the microcontroller. If we take a look at the Arduino code, you can see that we are just using software serial library and nothing else. And we are defining the two pins that we connect. So these are D5 and D6 for the communication that we have on the UART and we initialize the software serial connection on them. Inside the setup function, we're initializing the regular serial that we have between the microcontroller and the computer that we're running, as well as the serial communication between the microcontroller and the Bluetooth module. And we wait for one second just for things to stabilize and make sure that we have serial communication set up. Then we are setting up the D1 pin where we have the uh, relay, actually the transistor connected that controls the relay. And we are setting that as output with immediately setting its state to low. So the relay is always off when uh, things turn on. Then we have two pieces of code that are the entire magic that happens with the demo that you saw. The first part is checking the serial to see if we have anything available on and that would be directly sent to the module. I'll demonstrate this later on. But the trick that turns on the relay is this part here where if we receive anything on the serial connection with the Bluetooth module and we see that if that value is relay on or relay off, then we are controlling the relay. If that value is something else uh, in specific, if the connection is being dropped or if the connection is being made, in both instances, we are actually turning off the relay. And when we successfully connect for the first time, I'm using this write to module function that I have below to send the subscribe text that you saw on the label there on the screen. If we open the serial monitor now and turn on the application. So we are now disconnected. We can start the scanning. And once we connect to the module, we're gonna see that uh, string here, the pluses with C at the end, and that would trigger the sending of the subscribe command. 
as we had it here then we can use whatever text that we want for example i can say taste the code and send that over to the serial we can see now that the label on the phone actually changed it's now saying taste the code if i send something like test it will immediately update because we are sending that data over to the phone via bluetooth when i press the on button you could see that we received the relay on command and that triggered the relay to turn on if i now go back and disconnect then you would see that we get the minus c so we lost the connection and the relay turned off because that's what we have in that occasion if we take a look on the android side of things then here is the view that i customized this uh, I had a label that would uh, list all the characteristics of the device now i reused the log that they had here but i added two buttons and the label that i am displaying the activity here and the handlers for those buttons are actually really simple because i only have one function that is writing to the relay value and it's writing relay on and relay off and that function will then find the characteristic uid that we have as specified by the module send the data over convert it to byte array send it over and then it's received on the other end and act upon it everything else on the application is uh, exactly the same as rayx had it in their example i'm gonna provide a copy of my examples on the links that you will find down in the video description and with that i'm gonna end the video right here you could see that the ryb 2340 module is extremely useful and easy to work with just with some simple commands we are now able to trigger changes over bluetooth from whatever de device we choose to connect on and because this can be into slave and uh, master mode then we could even have devices that talk to each other i'm gonna have all the relevant links and everything that you need to replicate the project down in the video description make sure to subscribe if you want to see more demos like this if you have any ideas what we can do with the project that i didn't cover then be sure to let me know down in the comments and i will see you all in the next one cheers